Well, good day, everybody. It's October 14th, 2024, and we have another line fire update. Things just keep on getting better and better, but I thought we would just take a little walk down to the lake here. A different location. Different spot. How's everyone doing today? Thank you, everyone, for your continued support with what I'm doing here. As most of you know, this is not my typical content. But it is big bear content, so that's what we're doing. So we're gonna go sit on this dock over here. Sitting on the dock of the bay. Yeah, things are looking good. Things are looking good. Apparently the past few days, it was pretty rough out there for the firefighters, but they kept it under control. Um, just, these folks are amazing. I, I can't stress enough how wonderful they are and how heroic they are to put themselves in the middle of these massive fires. I can never stop saying that because they are heroes. Let's see here. Oh yeah. This is beautiful. Look at this. Just gonna sit down at the end here. Not too short, I can't wade off the end of this thing. Let's get a nice view of this place first. Now we're coming up to the end here. All right, you guys. All right, so the most recent update for the line fire, as of about a couple hours ago. So the heat is diminishing near the confluence of Bear Creek and Siberia Creek, thanks to successful efforts of hell attack crews and the steep resistant terrain. Patrols near Mile Creek and Cold Creek are reporting minimal heat in the area with little threat to control lines. Fuels are drier than normal for this time of year and receptive to it. it receptive to ignition, so firefighters are staying engaged and are prepared for in initial attack response if needed. Fire danger remains really high. The public, is, the public is asked to be extremely diligent and fire wise. Considerable progress has been made with suppression repair on the fire line. The goal of this plan is to repair the land, water, and property impacts created by incident suppression activities returning to the Returning the area to a more natural condition by rehabilitating the impacted areas to the extent practical. The overall goal with suppression repair is to avoid concentration of water runoff onto the fire line and allow for proper drainage of water across slopes. To date, over 79 miles of dozer, wow, dozer line have been repaired and 35 miles are in various stages of assessment. Wow, that's a lot. This will be the final written daily update for the line fire. Additional updates regarding the fire will be posted to social media. And right now, you guys, we're still we're at 43,978 acres burned. 97% containment, folks. 97% containment. And the weather, light winds and clear skies will continue through at least Tuesday. Additional moisture will result in moderate to good relative humidity through the day Thursday. Temperatures will fluctuate a few degrees, but top out mainly in the 60s and 70s before cooling down even more on Thursday. So, seems like we got pretty good news. That's going to be the last written report. So, I don't know how many more of these we will be doing, which that's a fantastic sign. It's a great sign. This is, oh man, you guys. Again, as I always tell you guys, I wish you guys were right here with me. This is just such a peaceful area. <clears throat> and we're doing another hotel video today. 
We're gonna be staying at my favorite hotel in all of Big Bear. It's the most luxurious one as well. We do have a video of it um, in the playlist called Lodging. It's called the Blue Green Resort and it's the lodge at Big Bear Village. We stayed in the three bedroom last time and since they know my channel there, they took me on a tour of the presidential suite. And so I recorded all of that for the last video. And today, since it's a new, uh, a new video, a new room, we're staying in their two, two bedroom villa. I'm going to do a video for that too so you guys can see everything that they have available. I'm excited. Again, it's their most luxurious hotel in this town by far. I mean, for all my, all, all my people coming from my home area like Newport Beach, Laguna and stuff who tend to like some of the nicer things, this is going to be your best bet up here. It's called the Lodge of Big Bear Village. And it's in the village. Right next to Oakside Restaurant. So yeah, I will be giving you guys the whole rundown on that. We've stayed in the past two weeks. We stayed, we did a, a four night stay at the Snow Lake Lodge and then a three night stay. Um, where did we just stay? A three night stay at the Sierra Blue Resort. Of course, I recorded them all. So I will let you guys uh, well, as soon as these fires are totally done, these fire videos are done, I'll start to post those videos for you guys and add them to the lodging playlist. I think right now we have 23 lodging videos and uh, we're going to be adding three more soon. Excuse me. This lady just snuck up on me. Scared, scared the poop out of me. I'm going to need one of those doggy poop bags. Jeez Louise. All right, guys, say hi to El, El Duckies. What's up, you quacky? What's up, quacka? What's up, quacky? Oh, this is such a lovely place. Anyway, you guys, once again, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks again for every single second of support that you guys show me. I do work hard on this. I do the best that I can on this. And we got someone launching a boat right now. You are. So we're, we're, we're gonna bounce out of here. Don't forget for all of your updated weather once the winter time comes and summertime comes, come to this channel, check it out. I never miss a single storm. That's what this channel is typically all about. So come see me during the snowfall season see what made this channel popular and uh yeah i mean not popular but it's what most people come to the channel for not for fire stuff but for winter weather stuff and uh yeah i'd appreciate it hit that like and subscribe button help this channel grow again i put a lot of effort into it this is going on my 10th year doing this and almost 3700 videos later can you i can't believe it so thanks again Take care. I'll talk to you guys later.